Let's read Easter Engines. Easter Engines, based on the Railway Series by the Reverend W. Audrey, illustrated by Richard Courtney. It is Easter morning. James, Percy, and Thomas are being washed for the Easter parade. We are bright and shiny like Easter eggs, said James. Thomas is happy. He will lead the parade. Suddenly, Sir Topham Hatt arrives. He has an important job for Thomas. Thomas must go to McColl's farm. He must get an Easter egg. Thomas will do the job. Then he will race back to the parade. Thomas zooms down the track. He sees McCall's farm. Thomas stops at the farm. He is surprised. The egg is very shiny. It's also very big. It is the biggest egg in the world, said Thomas. Terence tells Thomas to be careful. He tells Thomas not to break the egg. Chug, chug, Thomas rolls slowly up the track. He is very careful. He does not want to break the egg. The egg shakes and wobbles. It does not fall. Quack, quack. Thomas stops. He lets the ducks cross the track. Thomas reaches the parade. It is almost over. Thomas is not the first engine in the parade. He is the last engine. But the children cheer for Thomas. The children cheer for the giant egg. The parade is over. How did the egg get so big? asked Thomas. Sir Topham Hatt chuckles. The egg is not real. It is made of paper. Rip, rip. Sir Thomas Hatt opens the egg. It is full of Easter baskets. One child gives Thomas a basket. Thomas is very happy. The children love their baskets. They thank Thomas. We are like big shiny eggs, James says to Thomas. But you are like a big Easter bunny, says Percy. Happy Easter, says Thomas.